Very warm welcome to this session on how to create and use journals in RQDA. So before I explain to you how to create and use the functionality of journals in RQDA, let's first understand what is a journal. <clears throat> in very simple words, a journal is an activity diary. You can also call it an activity log. Some people also call it job activity log. Hence, in the context of RQDA, you can call a journal as a data analyst diary. The basic function of a journal in RQDA is to keep and maintain a record of your project activities. Project here means data analysis project. There are several benefits of using RQDA journal functionality. <clears throat> For example, it helps in creating and maintaining record of daily activities. It also helps in reviewing activities performed so far if they have been recorded in the journal. It also helps in retrieving a list of activities done on a specific date if those activities have been recorded in the journal. And it also helps in writing a plan for the following session or the next day. Let's see how to use the functionality of journal in RQDA. So this is the RQDA interface, main interface. So you see here on the right column, these are the functionalities. Second loss functionality is the journal. Under the functionality of the journal, so you, you see there are four options. You can add a journal, you can delete a journal if it's existing, and you can open a journal if it's existing, or you can rename an existing journal. Let's first see how to create a journal. Edit, you see a, a, a window opens here. Here I write a diary of today. So today, I interviews of three key informants. I save it. So you see, a new journal has appeared here. However, it is not having any name. It contains only two pieces of information. One is the date and second one is the time. Let me rename it. Here, I write here data collection since it was related to data collection then I add another one in this session I identified four themes quotes so you see another one General has appeared, and you can also name it like I name it as a coding. And if you want to delete anyone, so simply select that one and delete it. You see a window will appear, option will appear, really delete, and you can delete it. So this is the way you can add, delete, open, or rename any journal. And if you want to open any journal, so simply uh, select it and So you see it's open. or you can also open it another way also double click it so it will open up so thanks for watching